I have created a new Flutter application with this command Flutter create NEWP which means new project. So I have CD into new project and then I am calling Visual Studio Code which is code dot. Okay, it opens the main dot dot file. Now what I am going to do is view command palette Flutter device select. I have already configured this device which is Pixel 3a API 30. So I'm going to call this device. It's launching and it's waiting. Can you see? This is my old project which I have developed. That's a, that's a food delivery application project. But currently I have a brand new project which is of course the Flutter raw project which is a counter. So it's not showing. Why? That is the issue which I am going to discuss here. So what you have to do is you just close this out and also you exit out from Visual Studio. You exit out from VC Code and you call Android Studio. So let's call Android Studio. So Android Studio is coming up. We go to Tools and then AVD Manager. So I have only one device which I explained to you just now, Pixel API 30. So I just run and see. So once I run, of course, my previous project files are coming up. But it doesn't initialize. Can you see that? So you close this out. That's the solution I am suggesting here. And then what, what you have to do, and then what you have to do is you just delete this. Okay. And then create a virtual device. Any device should be okay. Just add a device. Next. And preferably you choose API level like old one, which is more stable. Because this is for testing purpose, so you can just use that. And then you finish it. Once you finish that, you launch that device and see. As you can see, it's being launched here. Yes, this is the starting screen that you are supposed to see. Let's wait for it to complete. Okay. So now what you can do is you can close this safely. And also you can close this virtual device. But I would recommend that you leave the Android Studio open like that. Even though you may not be using Android Studio as IDE, but still many of users of flutter use android studio so that's not an issue we are focusing on visual studio code right so let's code it now code dot and again i am going to view command palette devices i just type it out so that the flutter device comes out so now you can see i have this 26 mobile emulator. So I click that. Let me drag it here. This is the static screen that we are supposed to see. So Android is starting. Everything is started. And then if we run without debugging, the Gradle task is running, which is a good signature or indicator. So very soon, hopefully, our project will be loaded. Yeah, the build has completed. So the screen is supposed to load soon. Yes, it's loaded. I'll close this uh, widget inspector. So let's change something here just to ensure that it's running. Here we can see Flutter demo homepage, right? So I'm just changing it to Flutter demo welcomes you right with an exclamation mark so i'll save this yes it's reflected by the hot reload of flutter so that's it guys a short video please like my youtube channel and subscribe to it i'll bring you more technical details yeah like false or fault injection whatever it be and also a lot of helpful videos Please give us a thumbs up and good comments.
Thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye.